Hello and um, welcome back to Monkey Gardening. I have a monkey, this is my garden. It's another scorching day. Um, I'm just planning um, another uh, phase of uh, sowing seeds. Um, so today is the 1st of June, so I'm reaching the end of the first um, sowing season. Um, so what I'm going to sow is uh, more herbs. Um, herbs have been very slow, so hopefully the warm weather I'll get a load more. So some coriander. Uh, there and some parsley um, also some more courgettes I've got absolutely loads of plants uh, but these are kind of in for insurance um, if I don't need them I'll give them away um, but I want lots of courgettes uh, more lettuce I can carry on sowing lettuce until um, around August uh, more spinach to replace um, the spinach that's died um, over there although I'm going to re replace that with some seedlings uh, but I want more spinach uh, what else? Some uh, radish, which I'm going to sow in between the lettuce and this bay over there. Um, some more butternut squash. I've got one, one plant. I wouldn't mind one or two more. Um, some carrots. I've not had a lot of success growing carrots in the past, but I might try some in, in some containers. Um, and then some uh, broccoli, uh, both normal kind and purple sprouting. Um, now these I need to sow straight into the bed. So I'm going to try and find some space in the main bed for those, I think. Um, so yeah, second lot, lot of sowing. Um, start filling up seedling corner again. But unlike earlier in the year, hopefully this lot will be a lot quicker because it's a lot warmer. Right, so first job for today is I'm going to um, pot up some of my uh, larger tomato seedlings. I just picked up some uh, tomato compost. Um, this, this stuff was on offer in Marks and Spencer's. Um, I could use my my, uh, my supply of compost, um, but in, in a big pot, it's uh, it's not very free draining. So I think they'll be happier with this uh, this type of compost. Uh, so yeah, first job, pot these up into some uh, bigger pots, and then that'll probably be the last time they're potted up before I find um, their final homes. Uh, also today, I am going to um, prick out some of the cabbages, and put them into individual pots, uh, so they'll be ready as plug plants. Uh, I'm also going to pick out some of the basil uh, today as well. Uh, so yeah, it's a really nice day today, but the weather's due to change quite dramatically tomorrow. Uh, so for the next week or so, um, it's going to be quite uh, cold um, and wet. Right, so just, just to show you what I'm doing, and I'm repotting these tomatoes, I'm going to remove um, these seedling leaves and the, uh, the bottom leaf, and then I'll, I'll plant this up to here. And then from here downwards, all of this will produce more roots, which will make it a much stronger plant. In this pot I'm about to pot up, I've got uh, two seedlings growing in the same pot, so I'm going to attempt to um, separate these out. Uh, and again, removing the seedling leaves and the bottom leaf and, and planting it pretty deep. The other ones are already done, um, I've watered in. So the first one I did is it is in my uh, compost, the big delivery compost I got. Um, and it just doesn't drain as well. And also the sheer weight of that compared to this sort of more fluffy stuff. Um, so it'd be, it'd be quite interesting to see um, how this plant uh, does compared to the others. It's not exactly a perfectly controlled experiment, but um, it'd be interesting to see how quickly it dries out compared to the others at least. Um, so yeah, try and separate these out. Um, pop them up and then on to the next job. Actually while I'm this bit of the garden I can show you something quite exciting. Uh, one of my peas has finally flowered so we may actually get some fruit off this um, after all. Although if you look I can focus um, you can see where are we? some uh, semi-circular holes being cut, have been cut out the leaves I've looked it up and apparently that's a, a pea weevil, it's like a little um, beetle. Um, only a couple of leaves seem to be affected so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, the peas haven't been uh, great, I've been fine for pea shoots as I said in an earlier episode, uh, but the rest of them just got battered by the wind. I've planted some more peas, I mean sown some more peas, and I'll try and fill this bed out a bit more. Um, but yeah, I think really it's in the wrong location, and for some reason I think these, seed these seedlings just weren't very strong. Okay, back to the tomatoes. 
well I, I tried to separate out these two seedlings um, but they've grown so close together that I wasn't going to be able to separate them without being quite violent to the uh, root ball um, so I decided to leave it we'll let, we'll let them uh, grow together see what happens and I'm just going to water this in and then it's all tomatoes done for now and I'll move on to something else so these are my cabbage seedlings these were planted um, exactly a month ago on the 2nd of May um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to prick out the largest of them uh, and put them up into these pots um, yeah they look pretty healthy but they've uh, these big ones have had long enough in this small tray this small tray isn't, isn't very deep so I'm constantly having to water it it's constantly drying out you can see a bit of yellowing again a, a bit stressed in there so I'll pick out these large ones um, I might let the rest grow on a bit um, we'll see see what's left okay so that's the cabbages uh, picked out and potted up um, they seem to have pretty strong roots um, they seem pretty happy I've just given them a good watering in and I'm just keeping them in, in the shade for the rest of the day they don't really want the sun beating down on them when they just had that shock I'll, I'll keep this tray um, for about a week uh, just in case any of the seedlings fail and I can pick out a few more but otherwise I'll just get rid of this um, so I've got far too much stuff anyway so that's my uh, basil seedlings um, picked out and potted up they look like very happy little seedlings uh, a few of them where I couldn't separate the uh, root ball I just planted them together I think that'll be fine so I'll let them grow on in these little pots uh, at some point they'll probably be potting up again uh, yeah they're looking really healthy happy with those welcome back to a fresh day in the monkey garden um, it's much duller today it was rain overnight it's been rain on and off today and it's dry at the moment but I think it's going back to rain again I'm um, just potting around doing a few jobs uh, let me show you there's absolutely loads and loads and loads and loads of blackberries uh, in this bush uh, quite a few raspberries that's quite exciting hopefully, hopefully they'll ripen up um, you know, I planted up out the um, rest of the chard in this bed just got, um, got just enough room at the front for something else, I might stick some radish in there um, I need to plant out a couple more things in here but I'm not going to do that today um, these two spinach plants here and here um, are completely dead more or less um, so I'll get rid of those plant out some more I've got a load more here um, here's the uh, basil which I pricked out yesterday um, the rocket I picked out is really taking off now um, so I need to find somewhere for that to live uh, the beans are still happy enough in here and they detest the cold so um, we'll hang on with those um, the courgettes which I planted out first um, they have, they've never done very well um, they're not as yellow look, looking um, as they were before and they are producing um, flowers and there is fruit I've got a feeling that the fruit isn't going to um, get that big there's one fruit on this one which came out the other day um, the flowers fallen off but the fruit hasn't got much bigger um, but we'll, we'll see how we go I don't need that space in the bed just yet uh, these are all the uh, tomatoes I, uh, I potted up yesterday so I've got loads of tomatoes um, here's the uh, cabbage plants which I pricked out they're looking very healthy uh, so yeah a bit of a dull day um, I'll probably wrap up this video now um, for this episode and I'll be back with the next episode with something interesting to show you. Okay, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.